Friends, in today's video I'd like to teach you how to make the herringbone double crochet. This is a really pretty yet simple variation of the double crochet stitch and it's also reversible. It doesn't matter which side it's on because both sides look the same. So for this tutorial, turning chains do not count as stitches. And because of that, it does create this slightly scalloped edge, but I actually like it this way, so I just leave it as it is. I don't worry about it. So to get started, you're going to start with a chain of any multiple of one plus one. Once you have your desired number of chains, you are going to count three chains from the hook and you're going to work your first herringbone double crochet into the back bump of that third chain from the hook. To make your first herringbone double crochet, just yarn over, insert your hook into the back bump, like I showed you, of that third chain from the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and immediately pull your hook through the first loop there. And now you've got two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, and pull through both loops on your hook. Okay, so you're gonna work your next stitch into the back bump of the next chain. So yarn over, insert your hook into that back bump, yarn over, pull up a loop, and immediately pull your hook through that first loop. You've got two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. Working into the next chain now, you'll yarn over, insert your hook into the back bump of the next chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, and immediately pull through that first loop. You've got two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. So continuing to work into the back bumps of each chain, you're going to make one herringbone double crochet in each chain all the way across until you get to the end. Okay, so once you've made one herringbone double crochet in each chain, it's time to turn and start working on the second row. So you will chain one and turn your work. Now, since the chain one does not count as a stitch, we're gonna work directly into this very first stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook right into that first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and immediately pull through that first loop on your hook. Now you've got two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. Okay, so working into the next stitch, you'll yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, immediately pull your hook through the first loop on the hook, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And now you will continue making one herringbone double crochet in each stitch all the way across till you get to the end of the row. Now once you get to the end of that second row, you're simply going to chain one and turn your work. And again, since turning chains do not count as stitches, we're gonna work directly into this very last stitch we made in the previous row. So we're gonna make a herringbone double crochet. So you yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, and immediately pull through that first loop, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. Hopefully you're getting the hang of this now. So basically you are going to continue making each stitch and each row just as we have been for the duration of your project or maybe you're just making a practice swatch to practice the stitch. Either way, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and tap the little bell so you never miss a video. Bye for now.